Good day everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today we will be covering uh, formula fields, right? Which is uh, one of the most important uh, aspects of um, a custom object because formula fields gives you a lot of uh, flexibility uh, in doing a lot of calculations. Um, so what we're going to do uh, so, if you have attended my last lecture, you would know that I have talked about, uh, I've created a beer uh, salt object, right? Um, and we have a field called, we had a field called uh, amount, uh, where you have to manually key in the total amount uh, for the beer salt, uh, which I felt was kind of way off because a person can do mistakes, you know, because for instance, someone can do a calculation mistake. So instead, what we decided, uh, we're going to use uh, the amount field as a formula field because it will calculate behind the scene based on a quantity and the beer type selected, right? Okay, so let me explain to you what I meant by that. Uh, let's go to uh, the um, beer sold object here. I've I've taken off a couple of stuff uh, and I've modified uh, a pit list as well. I explained to you what I mean by that. So this is a BSL object. So we have one record already here. Okay. Um, so so look at the screen, right? Pay pay close attention to it. We don't have much information on the screen, right? What we got is quantity, um, a type, and account, right? Which is fine, but various amounts. So I've took off the amount. So and we have a beer type here so we gonna we have uh different types so uh, before it was multi-select so i changed it to a single select right so we have porter lager pilsner stout ale right so the requirement is so every um so we gonna do, what we're gonna do we gonna hard code some information we assume things for for the sake of simplicity what we're gonna assume here is that a porter beer will will sell for uh 10 bucks ten dollars uh we can call ten new zealand dollars or the us dollar you can assume whatever you want canadian dollars australian dollars up to you uh, or euro if you want for instance but we're going to stick to uh a ten um a us dollar for the sake of simplicity right okay so we um uh so and and rest of the beer like lager pilsner stout ale will be sold for eight bucks each right Okay, so what we, what gonna happen? So let's say if I choose lager here, and if I put the quantity ten, so the amount should automatically multiply quantity times that uh, eight. That is ten times eight should display eighty, right? That's great, and uh, and 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 we can also pull some of the field from this account here. Uh, so say this beer has been sold to this account. Uh, for, for our sake of simplicity, let's say I would like to see a uh, number of employees or, or whatever, uh, or, or let's say an account number belonging to this account. Uh, just to demonstrate the, all, what we can do with the formula field, let's say I wanted to display an account number here, right? And probably a number of uh, employee working. Uh, we'll, we will see how it goes, right? So let's, uh, first thing first, uh, let's create a, uh, a formula field uh, to calculate the quantity uh, and the beer type, right? Okay, so let's. So what we're gonna do, we go to, to uh, object manager here, and we're gonna search for. Or you can go the other way around uh, by going to uh, get core icon here, and edit object will take you straight to this page, right? Okay. So fields and relationships, we don't have much fields here. So we're going to create a, a formula field, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, go to click on new and look for a formula type. So we select formula and uh, we click on next. So we're going to name it as amounts, uh, sorry, amounts sold. Right. And since amounts should be currency, so we will pick a currency data type and we click on next right now this is where the magic happens right so we have two options here one is the simple formula and one is the advanced formula right so i would encourage you guys to work with advanced formula because this will give you a lot of options and flexibility um, for instance uh, functions you can get an option uh, information about functions like we have absolute functions add begins blank value 
um, you know, uh, so it's just like a break tag in HTML and uh, if else statement kind of stuff. You can do a lot of things here. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to use uh, if statement here. So let's try to see if we can if statement. So we this is an if statement. Um, this is a function we're going to use here because what we're going to do, we have to find out if the beer type is um, um, porter, then multiply 10 times the quantity, else multiply 8 times the quantity. Pretty straightforward, right? The requirement is very simple. I wanted to keep it very simple. You can do a lot of things here. You can use case statement, um, right? So you can you have a lot of nested, uh, nested if stuff as well. Um, so uh, yeah, so we're gonna keep it very simple just to give you hang out, hang about, um, uh, you know, an idea about how the formula fields work. So, okay, so enough of talking, let's do the stuff. Um, so insert statement here. Uh, so you can see uh, it's if it expects a logical statement and then if it is true, then you will get this result. If this is false, you'll get this result. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, what we want here is to extract a value from a pick list. Now, pick lists are very different, right? So we can't say, uh, you know, object dot text or whatever you used to in other language, right? Um, so, yeah. So let's see, um, right? Um, right. Okay. Uh, my apologies, guys, if you're hearing some noise because we're gonna have, we are getting a lot of rain today. It's 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 typical autumn in New Zealand. So, a lot of rain. It's been raining since morning. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Let's go to uh, pick list. So uh, there is something called uh, east pick value. Um, so right. So we're gonna use this one, right? So what what this gonna ha do is that okay? I'm uh, just gonna explain. So let's let's uh, select the pick list value first. Um, so um, so we have something called beer type, right? I select this beer type. So and the pick list value pour. Uh, just bear with me. I will explain to you what I'm doing. So now this logic, right, it will check whether your beer type value is porter. If it is porter, it will return true, else it will return false, right? So we take this bad boy here and, and copy it here. So this is a logical expression, right? We got the logical expression. So this will either return true or it returns false. So when it is true, what we're going to do, we have to multiply a quantity with, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, with uh, the price. So $10 the price times uh, quantity. Let's look for the quantity again. Quantity, right? Okay, insert. And here, what we're going to do, 8 times uh, quantity. So... I hope that's very clear. This is pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do, I'm checking first if your beer type is porter, okay, this one. If it is true, then get the quantity times 10 or let's say if it is lager or stout or ale or whatever, eight times, right? And now how do I know that this is a right um, formula or what, a, I mean, I could have, a, you know, I could write something which can give me uh, a syntax error, right? The way you can do is you can check uh, for syntax here. There's a, and if it says it's all successful, it's in green, you're good to go. So we're going to go next and uh, we won't be doing much here. We'll keep the default option here and we'll do save. Okay. So there you are. We created a formula field of type currency here right and now let's go here let's go to beer sold again and let's see if we find that bad boy here okay so looks like okay beer right we don't have this option here okay that's fine it should show up hang on sometimes it takes a second or two if not then we have to look at the page layout right 
Okay, there we are, the amount sold. Okay, now let's do some uh, calculation here, right? Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to choose Porter first, right? And I'm going to change the quantity to, say, 8. So now you would know, right? So Porter, $10, quantity 8. 8 times 10, 80, right? So you should see uh, 80 here. And let's see. There you are, 80. Okay. Now you change your mind, and let's say I wanted to do lager. And the quantity 8 times 8, so... Right, so 64, right? Okay, so that's that's why the formula fields is very, very powerful and very handy, right? Okay, now let's try to uh, bring some field from an account object here uh, to display it on the screen because uh, we have uh, an account lookup here. Uh, so we have an account lookup here, which is a master detail. So I can actually pull... Uh, parent information uh, and display it on the child. So let's do um, an integer. Let's see. Uh, okay. So what we're gonna do? Uh, let's go to uh, an account um, um, object and uh, let's see what field we can push. Uh, we can pull in. So we go to account and so we're gonna go to fields and relationship. So let's see if we can if we can bring the account number right just uh, just to demonstrate a very uh, simple thing. Okay, so account number that's a text field. So we're gonna need it's a text field. So we need a text field uh, in a formula. So we're gonna do formula field. Uh, the reason why I'm demonstrating this to to tell you that you can bring uh, information from a parent to the child. Uh, this gets very handy when you're doing circle queries as well. So uh, we, that's a different point of uh, that's a different topic of discussion. So as we uh, as I've told you before, um, the account number is a text field. So we're gonna select text here and go next. Okay, sorry. So account number, All right? Okay, and and next and um, insert field. So we, you see, we have an account here, right? So when you click on account, it will take you to the account fields, which is very handy. So now I want an account number, which is a text field, and I insert it, and then I'll look for a check syntax just to make sure. Should be all right, okay, and next. And you can click on next as well, and save, okay? Now, Let's go back to uh, test sales. So what we're going to do, we're just going to refresh it. Sometimes it takes a second or two. Okay. Okay, and uh, go to beer sales. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and test. There you are. We have an account number field. So let's go to this uh, bad boy to see if we have an account number set up. Um, details. Um, uh, we don't. Right. So. Now, that's interesting. Why we are not seeing an account information here, right? Let's change it to, okay, so cancel, and uh, be sold, okay, um, what we're going to do, uh, let's go to, let's create a new information here, and let's say be sold, test two, uh, Quantity, I'm just going to put 10, just to make it simple. And I'm just going to put a Pilsner. Account, I'm going to see United Auto. And I'm just going to do Save. And there you are. We got the account information here. How cool is that, right? This is what I meant. You can bring any information here. 
sometimes it takes a second or two to refresh so right. so we can see this information here so this is what I meant you can pull any information uh, from the parent object and uh, yeah so the formula fields is very powerful you can do a lot of operation using the formula fields um, so you can do case statement you can do if files like uh, as I demonstrated if you know so uh, you can do pretty uh, cool advanced stuff um, and uh, yeah and, and, and then formula fields I, I often use formula fields whenever I have to uh, when I'm doing a calculation so it makes my life easier uh, when I'm doing a circle query so uh, yeah and if you want more information you can go to trailhead or you can go to uh, Salesforce documentation you will get a lot of information there are some formula fields uh, cheat sheets you can go through it um, so the my main idea for today's uh, topic uh, lecture is to to give you a a overview about formula fields, the things you can do, uh, and to give you an idea about how we can calculate stuff. Um, because Sokol has limitations, right? So when we reach the Sokol, you will realize a lot of limitations. You can't multiply two things, you can add, you can't add two things, so we you have to end up using formula fields and, and, and then all kind of stuff. So formula field is very handy, uh, very useful, very powerful uh, stuff on Salesforce. So please check it out. Uh, please um, uh, read a Salesforce documentation. You will get more information about it, the, the power of uh, formula fields, right? So that's all I wanted to cover, guys. So uh, I hope you find this uh, small, small lectures valuable. Uh, I mean, if you guys think that I should do a bigger one, just please let me know. I can do a bigger, uh, because I don't want it to really overwhelm you guys. Salesforce is huge. Uh, I mean, I could cover advanced stuff, but I just don't want to do that right now because I wanted to start make it as a series, uh, you know, where A to Z, then we can go to developer series, then we can go to architect series. Um, yeah, so that's the plan altogether. So it will take a while, but, you know, we'll get there. Okay, thank you very much for your time, guys. So I hope you have an amazing uh, Sunday. Bye.